Nowadays, maintaining, migrating, as well as creating application infrastructure on cloud is a valuable issue in, in the industry. You need to worry about many of the details, such as creating the networking infrastructure, creating the virtual cloud network, creating subnets, creating security list for your instances. This solution resolves all those issues, as well as makes most of the manual process automated. So let's go over here. This is the basic Ansible script. In the first step, you will be deploying the infrastructure. In that, you will be creating the SSH configuration. You will be, then you will be creating the networking infrastructure. Then you will be launching the instances inside that networking infrastructure. After that, successfully, the instance has been created. You will be creating the DNS records or DNS configuration details. After that, you will be creating a dynamic inventory in next step. After creating the dynamic inventory, you will be just logging into the role or creating a role to access that particular inventory. In another file, you will be deciding about the environment details, environment variables, how you will be accessing, what will be the name of your instances, what will be the name of your network infrastructure, each and everything just once. You don't have to redo anything. I just have to run one particular command called Ansible Playbook. Since I'm trying to locally run the Ansible Playbook, I will be using 127.0.0.1. After that, I will be just running the OCI infrastructure deployment YAML file, giving the environment type as a three-tier application, and GUID as test123. Now click Enter. This script will create the virtual cloud network, create the internet gateway, creating the subnets, ass assigning public IP addresses, as well as reserving those public IP addresses for the instances has been taken care of by this one single script. You don't have to go over there and manually configure the networking details on your own. This will eliminate the human error, which usually we have inside the application infrastructure or any kind of programming languages, which we normally face or use in any software. Now it is just adding the host records to DNS zone. It has successfully provisioned the instances. Now it is creating the dynamic inventory for us, creating the role for the inventory. Creating the DNS records. For example, it is just matching, matching the public IP address with the A record inside the DNS zone. As you can see, the entire infrastructure has been provisioned for three-tier application. This process usually takes two to three weeks of period, which has been cut short to just a few minutes, as well as it will save a lot of money spent on infrastructure, whether it's on-premise or on Oracle Cloud. <laughs>